<laughs> All right, we've made our first signing on the Todd Bowley era, ladies and gentlemen. And no, it is definitely not Kuli Valley. All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. All right, welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. It's another Chelsea news bonanza, transfer news bonanza, where we're going to go through some of the latest that's been going around. We have apparently, well, we haven't made the signing completed as it's not a done deal, but apparently it is getting close to it. We'll talk about that. It's a goalkeeper, so relax yourself. And it's probably not a goalkeeper that's going to be a backup goalkeeper either. So we'll talk about that. But the story starts from here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is coming from the score, but it's uh, it's it's an extract from Simon Phillips. As you know, Simon Phillips does a um, lot of stuff um, for Chelsea um, community, and he knows quite a few people internally as well. I'm told Chelsea are in negotiations with Koulibaly's agent speaking about the deal. Chelsea are happy with Napoli's valuation. This is all on what the player decides to do, but he's open to joining Chelsea. This is... This is fantastic news that he's open to joining Chelsea. I was so under the impression that this brother wants to go to, um, he wants to go to Barcelona, and um, yeah, it's it's great that he's look he's open to joining Chelsea. He would be a beast. He would be a beast for us. I've said it many a times on this particular channel on that LCB position. If we're looking at playing back three, but also flexibility in terms of formation allows us to go to a back four as well. This particular player. Perfect Rudiger replacement. Perfect. If we're talking about that aggression, that attitude, he's got it all plus more, I feel. Uh, somewhere touted around 30 million. Um, uh, I believe he's only got one more year left in his contract. Um, and yeah, that valuation, as you can see here, you know, Chelsea are happy with Nap Napoli's valuation. And we've offered something around, last I saw, 160K per week. Uh salary so hopefully hopefully this gets done ladies and gentlemen we need this and the other thing that i want to talk about before i go into this particular news about jules kunde as few people on social media they're getting a bit upset with the lack of activity we got to realize look the window just opened we need to calm ourselves down as well i get it we want some business to be done asap the way i look at it pre-seasons in three weeks time if we don't have our required recruitments by then i think that's when we can start talking about you know what the board what the board has done so on and so forth right now the new owners literally just took over maybe two and a half weeks ago so yeah there is a time to getting to know everyone talking to everyone before you start actioning stuff we, we've been behind the able because of the sanctions so i'm not going to be that um critical on the on the on the you know club as yet but of course, in three weeks' time, when preseason starts, Thomas Tuchel needs to have his players. I don't want him to move into a preseason where his targets are not acquired as yet, and then he gets it quite late. And and, and just don't want to get into that scenario where they've not done a preseason these new players. So, yeah, obviously a lot of people are like, "What's going on with Jules Kunde? Jules Kunde should have happened last season. Forget about this season." Um, and, and a few people are upset about that. Obviously, Dembele as well getting close, but. Both these players, as long as they happen by the end of June, I'm okay with it. And look, hopefully, hopefully, I mean, there's so much that's been talked about these sort of players. So hopefully it happens very soon and we see something quite advanced. Sevilla do not want to rush the sale of Jules Kunde and will not accept less than 65 million euros. Chelsea have submitted an offer of 50 million euros in recent days. Now, difference of 15 million Let's try and negotiate and get to the middle ground. This is where I feel like we don't need to drag something too much. Um, if Sevilla wants 65 million. Let's tell Sevilla, look, let's cut, cut us a deal, man. Cut us a deal. You're not going to get that 65 million. Your player wants to leave, um, has been wanting to leave for a couple of seasons. You don't want to, you know, aggravate the player even more. Like, you don't want to make this player. Uh, be upset. He was upset last season for not being able to go to Chelsea. There was a time I think he, he even uh, bunked um, Sevilla training or whatnot, and he was camping out in France hoping for this particular move. So let's make this happen somewhere around in the middle ground, maybe maybe around 55, 57 million. Let's let's just get this happen. 57 million euros, which would be something around what maybe 45 million pounds. I think that's decent business. Let's get it done. Um, that's the one that I expect very, very soon. I want Chelsea 
to move in on that particular deal very quickly. Uh, we, we should not drag that out post June. I think Sevilla needs to balance their books before June as well. So hopefully that's one we can bag it that before June finishes, we should be having that. Chelsea and Inter Milan are motivated to get a deal. Done for Roma. the team such his brother. Um, the dream move back to back to Inter Milan. Inter Milan are aiming to sign Romelu Lukaku on a paid loan for two seasons and then complete a deal on a permanent basis for the forward as they seek a gentleman's agreement with Chelsea. This is from uh, Coro Sport, I think. Um, yeah, Correa de los Sport, 737k view, uh, followers. So there's something on it. Gentlemen's agreement. Gentlemen's agreement. This is what we've come to with Romelu Lukaku. Look, at the end of the day, we've said it many a times. He wants to leave. Thomas Tuchel doesn't really care about this particular player anymore. Inter wants him back. Let's just get together, put all the brains together, and let's make it happen. Best for all parties involved. Let's not keep him around at Chelsea Football Club because he's gonna he's gonna be a virus, and we don't need a virus uh, during a pandemic where we already have a virus. Okay, Inter Milan have made it clear that they will not include Denzel Dumfries in any deal to sign Romelu Lukaku. You know what? I'm happy with this. I don't want any of your players at the moment anyway. Just give us the cash, mate. Give us the cash. I think uh, the previous tweet was saying how Romelu Lukaku on a paid loan for two seasons and then complete a deal on a permanent basis. So, look, give us the money, paid loan for two seasons. Even look after the salary if you can. Your player is willing to take a salary cut anyway. Um, and, and, and then a permanent basis after that. He's got four years left in his Chelsea contract. So give us the money. We'll find our players. Um, we're going with Gabriel Jesus. So don't worry about Lataro Martinez. And we'll find a right wing back. Um, Denzel Dumfries. Yeah, he's all right. Pace and power and whatnot. But I don't think technical uh, technicality is always there. Passing is always there. So I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm absolutely okay with this. Yeah, Bastoni would have been nice, but Bastoni's agent has come out in recent times saying that he wants to stay at Inter Milan. Um, you know, uh, last one that we heard was Skriniar. He's a right-sided player predominantly. We've got Kunde. So, look, give us the money. Give us the money. It's fine. We, we don't need a particular player swap. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is the blockbuster breaking news. Chelsea about to... Uh, possibly make a signing, uh, the first one under Todd Bowley. This, this is not the first one that I expected, but it is what it is. And we've beaten Real Madrid to a particular uh, particular target, which is great news. Do you know what I mean? They've, they've beaten us to quite a few in recent times. They've even taken some of our players. So, mm, up the Chelsea, one against the Real Madrid. Why not? Gabriel Salina deal update. Chelsea are now really close to signing the talented goalkeeper. They are pushing after Real Madrid's bid rejected. Yeah, rejecting Real Madrid, you know. Talks are in progress with Chelsea to get the deal done soon. 10 million euros fee expected by Chicago for 2004 born goalkeeper Salina. 2004, man, wow. Is what, then 18 years old, I, I believe. So look, at first when I saw this, I was like, surely this guy's not the one that's gonna be competing with Mendy. Surely not. Like we need to give Mendy at least some form of competition to keep him on the toes. This kid, and it is a kid, um, cannot be it. Uh, I want to see how people are reacting. Don't care. <laughs> I don't think anyone asked if you do. Greenwood, uh, don't care. Give us Arsenal news, Fab. Uh, it's just mad um, for Victor Romano. Simon Phillips on the back, off the back of that said, Salina wouldn't be a Kepa replacement, FYI. He's likely to spend at least two years out on loan, probably staying in the US initially, one for the future. So look, Glad, uh, you know, Simon Phillips has come out and just give us some sort of perspective uh, on this particular matter, context. Um, glad that this guy, this kid, goalkeeper, is not um, someone that's going to be um, you know, deputizing Mendy. There was a clip that's going around, check it out on Twitter, um, where there was a howler from Selena and then uh, someone uh, tweeted that out saying, first signing under Top Bowley with a fire emoticon. And I was laughing my head off. Um, but yeah, look, it is what it is. Obviously, we've got American owners. So we probably are going to see a lot more of these sort of style of, um, you know, business that's get, uh, that might get done. Um, you know, just talented superstars from US possibly be on loan first. And then we'll see if they ever make it to Chelsea. 
Um, yeah, possibly an American Academy, uh, influx of American players, you never know. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps us up with all the news uh, that's happened in the last 24 hours. Koulibaly, very, very interesting. I hope that happens. Um, that would be, for me, that is going to be close to a marquee. I know there's quite a few ones out there. Dembele um, yeah, is also, in my opinion, is a marquee as well. Um, Koulibaly will definitely go as a marquee too. Jules Kunde, let me know about the price, how you feel about that Inter Milan with Lukaku situation. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Smash the like button. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Until next time, see ya.